Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you the first part of how to make this little beauty. That's you. It is. So this little beauty is called, wait for it, Create Harmony and he's a little stunning character who's obviously into dress up. He has a hat rather similar to mine which of course makes him cracking little character. <laughs> anyway, enough chat from me. Let's start this off. Come with me. Let me show you how we get the background done. Lochter background papers. So this is a little free exercise. Grab your piece of Lochter paper and fold it into four pieces. You may see there's already a bit of blue on there, but I'm not worried. I can use that rip it down the centre, fold it in half again and do another bit of ripping. Those little rough edges are fabulous so don't worry about that. We want it. So take your first piece. I'm popping it onto a piece of card I've already used before so it's a little bit messy. You've got a needle tip bottle there that I've filled with Dinkles Amber and there's some Dinkles Pink and I've just done stripes. Simple as. Now I'm grabbing the, I'm moving that out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing, Dinkles Yellow with Metallic Bronze Mica and just filling the gaps. But look at those colours. Delicious. So this is my Dinkles Yellow with Metallic Bronze Mica and I'm just thinking like a rainbow and I've just done a sort of half, you know, a what do you call it? Curve, that's it. So that was sea blue and a bit of Dinkles pink. The only one with mica in is the yellow. But look at the way those colours work. And now I'm going to do a Joe Rice. I'm smushing off the craft mat. Waste not, want not. So that's my Dinkles pink with some Dinkles yellow. Dotting it about. That's the joy of using the Dinkles in the bottles that you get more control over where you want things to go. But look at that, fabulous. Last piece, I think, Dinkles Yellow, dotting it around a bit. Dinkles Amber, dotting it around a bit again. Then what shall I do? Ah, Dinkles Sepia, very nice. And don't forget, if you don't use all of these bits of paper, keep them in a stash. Use them for your journal or for alternative card backgrounds. Fabulous. And this is a bit of sea blue. Again, just dotting and then covering it, smothering it with the yellow and a couple of dots of pink just to keep it all in. Look at those colours when you put them on a piece of white card. And you dry them off. Oh my goodness, the colours are stunning. I do love Dinkles on Lochter. I can't say it enough. I apologise if I'm a, if I'm boring. So I'm not going to show you me doing the, all of this, but that's basically all I'm doing. I'm going to um, dry them with the, my heat tool because I have no patience. I try, but you know, I'm sorry. So we will do more with these once we have got them dry. And they sort of dry like a stiff, uh, like a stiffer napkin, really. And one that you can actually work with. But those colours, to me, just remind me of vibrant silk scarves. Oh, delicious. And because we've used a similar palette, they'll all work together nicely. So now I'm going to stamp on this Lochter. So I've grabbed two of my pieces using Versafine Claire Warm Breeze and the Harmony from, wait for it, the Harmony stamp set. And I'm just randomly stamping that over. One of my pieces. Now bearing in mind this card is called Create Harmony. I wonder if you can guess what the second word might be that I'm going to stamp on the other piece. Let's have a look. So, the next word I'm using is
with Shady Lane. Create. There we go. So verse fine Claire, Shady Lane and the word create from the balance stamp set. And just, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. You can, you can have a pattern if you want to, or you can just put as many or as few as you would like of those words down. Right, for the last two, I've gone with the Wise Owl stamp. And I'm going to ink it up with Versifying Claire Pinecone. I've popped that on an acrylic board because it's easier to stamp from a harder surface. Okay, and just popping that down there. And naturally, that gives a lovely print. Look at that. It's like a psychedelic newspaper. <clears throat> and then good old fashioned biro. And I'm just writing dude over and over and over. And if you think your pen is getting clogged up, then just do what I'm doing. Take it off onto a piece of paper and just do some squiggles to clear your nib. And I'm just writing dude over and over and over. So in, in effect, because it looks so psychedelic, I'm putting, that card will say create harmony, dude. But it'll be quite subtle, that dude, by the time I finished. Let's stamp the character. So get two pieces of multifarious card, the DL size, and grab your Versifying Claire Nocturne and an acrylic board. And Gus. Gus is going to star in this card. So we're just inking it up, turning it over and stamping Gus. Super. Grab your topper stamp again, ink it up with Verse Fine Claire Nocturne and stamp it there. Now you can see that I've managed to miss stamp there, so I've added a bit of biro to cover up my hat. Blank. And there's my hair ears again being stamped in Verse Fine Claire Nocturne. There's one. Switch it for the other side. Ink up. And there's two. How fabulous is that? Ripping. Okay, so grab the papers that you prepared earlier in true Blue Peter fashion. And what we're going to do is start off with create. And I'm just going to rip a really lovely, jagged, smooth edge and just use the remainders to fill the bit underneath because it's not long enough to do the whole caboodle. So we have to piece it together. You see the mica glistening on that lockter there on the harmony piece and you'll have to layer it underneath, which is rather lovely. Look at that. Oh, it's just like a party from the 70s and it just reminds me of tie-dye I'm just ripping a semicircle and this is the bit that said dude remember and look at how you can layer them up oh look at that sea blue and there we go the final piece with the owl on it the wise owl text really all you're trying to do is cover just cover that DL paper Okay, well that's great. Now I know how it could work. <laughs> Let's see if it works in practice. So sticking the background, grab some bippity bobbity glue and I'm just using nature's spatula. Yes, my hand. And I'm just starting to layer it up. So I've started with create. That's the top and the bottom piece. Then I'm peeling a bit away so that I can put the next bit under it. Fabulous. Next, please. Well, I'm not sure that was going there before, but anyway, it works. Let's not knock it. Nature spatula again. A little bit of glue. 
fabulous. That's all stuck down now. And there, look, that's that rainbowy bit, the tie dye effect. Now that'll go down next. Oh, I'm being a rebel. There we go, that's where it was supposed to be. About there. So remember, it started off with create, then harmony, and then dude. My bippity boppity is running out, so I'm being inventive with how I put it on. As you can see by the roll there. And the last bit was our wise owl. But look at how, because we've used the same palette, that it all sort of works. Oh, I love it. And I'm trying to balance that bottom right-hand corner with a bit in the top left. Turn your piece of card over and just trim it with a lovely sharp pair of scissors. And dry your background as much as you can. Righto, a little gesso. So grab yourself some white gesso. Ta-da! Put a little bit on your craft mat. And I'm using the masking uh, fluid paintbrushes that we have just because I, they tend to wash easier for me. And I like to keep my watercolours beautiful for watercolour. So that's my little bit of gesso. Now, it, you're probably wondering, why on earth are you doing that? It just lightens certain areas up and takes a little bit of the, um, m makes our surface, that's what I mean, makes our surface just that little bit smoother in places. So that's what I'm doing. Fab. It's going to look lovely, this, I promise you. Look at this. Right. So I'm now thinking, where am I going to be putting my words? Because I'm going to have a little bit of gesso underneath them. Okay, so that's that. Drying that off again with a little heat tool. Clearing up as I go. Oh, and guess what? You can catch the next part tomorrow. But well done for what we did today. You did it! Well, I thoroughly enjoyed making this background. We were using all that locked paper, loads of dinkles, a little bit of gesso, some of the new stamps on the background, and look at them all together. It's just this psychedelic, fun background. I love it. I love it. Anyway. Let's see what tomorrow brings when we tackle our little character. Should be great fun. See you tomorrow.